How to set up a wireless connection. To set up a customized SSID, customers can connect a wireless modem by using the device's default SSID and default security key settings. It is highly recommended you change the SSID and security key for your ease and security. To do so, follow these steps. Click on the Wireless tab and change the SSID key. For example, enter Netvigator or you can freely enter your own choice. Then click the Submit button. Click the Security option and select WPA2. Enter your own security code within the encryption key text box. Remember this key as you will need to input this when your PC connects to the wireless modem. Click on Submit to confirm. Note that you can always repeat this step if you have forgotten the security key that you have set up. Now turn on your PC or notebook wireless function and you will normally find the wireless modem icon at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen in the system tray area. You will be able to locate your previous SSID setup in here. For example, it may read Netvigator. Now key in the security key that you have just inputted. If you have not changed the security key, the default security key can be found in here. Note that this can be case sensitive. If the security key is a successful match, then it will display connected and you may now browse your internet wirelessly. If you are using Windows 7, you can use the feature WPS to automatically connect your notebook to the wireless modem without the need to manually input the security key by following these steps. Press the WPS button on the wireless router. On your PC, connect SSID as usual. Press the WPS button again and Windows 7 will try to obtain the security key automatically. If it's successful, your Wi-Fi network will be connected.